Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Untouchable Wolf, and today I'm gonna show you how to get to max level in Black Muff Wukong easy and become OP. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go so that you can destroy bosses. And by the end of my video, you will understand exactly what you need to do. So let's get started. And if you are new to my channel and enjoy my video, please make sure to subscribe for more Black Muff Wukong how to videos and live streams. And thank you so much for your support. We're on the road to 70,000 subscribers so thank you so much Wolfpack I do appreciate it and let me know in the comment section down below as you're watching my video what level are you currently and then you can use this video to come back and check your levels and put your updated level in the comment section down below it's all about having fun on my channel and getting better so the first thing you need to know is what is the max level in Black Myth Wukong the max level is 342 and a lot of you might be like oh man i cannot get to level 342 i'm a level 50 right now uh, what do i need to do so i'm on my new game plus number one we did a, i did a live stream last night and went really good so i do appreciate everybody who's on my live stream um, but before I started my new game plus I wanted to be maxed out and OP I'm a big time souls player so I understand like what it takes to level up I'm a level close to level 700 and I'm actually on new game plus number uh, close to number 50 in Elder Ring so I know what it takes to farm and become OP and you have to have that drive you have to have that motivation you gotta tell yourself I want to be maxed out in, in Black Myth Wukong now it's at 342 but you never know we might get a DLC where they raise the cap, say, to like 450. So, yeah, stick around. Make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you good areas as well When we, if we do get that DLC with the cap number um, updated. But right now, it's 342, and I want everybody to get there. So, there is a really amazing area to farm that many of you probably might know, which I will discuss just in a few. But you do need to know good areas to farm at the beginning of the game and leading up to the OP farm. So, make sure to subscribe subscribe because I do have farming areas for early game as well as mid game that can really help you out to become OP because you want to progress throughout the game and you want to be at a good level um, you don't want I don't want you guys to struggle I want you guys to enjoy this game so I have farming areas at the very beginning of the game that can help you out so I will leave links in the description down below so make sure you check those out as well so once I got to the shrine the wind rest hamlet which is in chapter two, I was able to get a good amount of levels due to the enemies being so close to the shrine. So that's what I look for when it comes to like good farming areas. I looked for uh, good OP enemies that can give me a good amount of XP and they're close to the shrine. Now, I do know that you can use the talisman to get you back to the shrine, but I don't like that it has that you know that loading screen that goes through. So I just want to be able to get the, get to the enemy as fast as possible and then run back to the shrine so a lot of these areas that I show you in the videos are exactly that and will give you a good amount of XP now once you work your way to chapter 4 and make your way to the pool of the shattered jade shrine this is the area that you want to be at so when you finally get there you're gonna be like untouchable wolf I made it I'm ready to become OP and max level 342 let's go so this is where I spent hours and hours until I was maxed out when I first arrived here and found out about this area I was around level 100 now I am maxed out level 342 so this is where you need to be so the transformation spell that you need to get is called the Ashen Slumber, which destroys the majority of the spider cocoons in this area, which gets you that um, really good XP as well as a lot of will and resources that you can use for crafting. So you want to make sure to get the Ashen Slumber transformation spell. If you have any questions about how to get it, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, when it comes to accessories or curios, you can use certain things to help you um, level up for example you want to use a celestial registry tablet which slightly increases experience gain from defeating enemies as well as the golden carp which moderately increases the chance of obtaining materials from defeated enemies to help you with the process of leveling up as well as the folk opera armor which will give you extra will now if you don't get any of these items or don't use any special curios um, armor you will be fine i promise you that is how much just experience you will get how op this farming area is so just make your way to this area and if you have any questions about how to get to this area please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll help you out but i currently have five million will 
as well so this is a really really good area to get will just a really really good area to level up and get to max level 342 in black myth wukong so while you farm you want to make sure to have that dedication that drive that passion but you want to make sure to have fun so you can put on my black myth wukong playlist and watch or listen to my videos and have a good time you can put on a good movie some netflix or some sports if you're a sports fan and before you know it you will be at a high level because sometimes you know if you just watch the farm and and do the farm over and over you might be like oh man i cannot do this but you have to have that drive so that's why i say you know as well as put on a, a, a something on the side so you can watch you know watch my black Muff wukong playlist i have tons of how-to videos and live streams that can help you get through the game and have fun put you on a good movie and just before you know it, you're gonna be like from level 50 to 100 and be like that's what i'm talking about let's go so this is how you get to max level 342 in black Myth wukong easy and fast and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below and if you found my video helpful or entertaining please make sure to give me a like rating and subscribe for more black myth wukong how-to videos and live streams and thank you so much for support it truly does mean a lot thanks for watching and take care and more wolf videos be coming soon later peace Ooh.